Good morning and welcome to this week's challenge um, for the I Am The Diva CZT Challenge. As we do every year in January, uh, the third week of January, we celebrate Mobius Syndrome Awareness Day, which is the congenital nerve disorder that my youngest son has. So if you've been following my blog since the beginning, you'll know that Archie was born with a nerve disorder that affects some of his cranial nerves. So the first couple of years were pretty rough for us, um, but he's getting better every day. And so on January 24th, we wear purple in support of R2 and all of his Mobius friends and our Mobius friends and family. And so this week's challenge is to um, create a tile for Mobius Syndrome Awareness Day, which is January 24th, wear purple. And there's a couple ways that you can do it. I've done it the same way every year. If you wanna look back, you can. Um, please don't use the same ones as you did last year if you're going to submit one to the Linky machine. Um, mostly because every year I like to send a link to the Mobius community on Facebook so they can come and take a look and see how much more people are becoming aware of this syndrome. Like it's very rare, it's like one in a million. Um, and so you can either do a Mobius syndrome logo which I have pre-drawn onto my tile because it's kind of a pain I didn't want you to have to watch me draw the tile draw the logo on here um, and there will be files um, just images you can use on the blog to help you with the logo or you can just draw your own um, or you can just incorporate purple into your tile somewhere. So if you want to use a purple paper or a purple pen or use some purple crayons, purple ink or paint, um, the sky's the limit with that. So anyway, so here we go. I'm just doing whatever comes to me now, but I've, I've got on here, you can see my Mobius um, strip that is the Mobius Foundations logo. So here we go. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start out by giving this an aura. I have this idea to use Diva Dance and we'll see how that goes. doesn't quite show up very well on this camera but hopefully once I've got all the tie the tangles in there it won't be so noticeable
um, quite interesting for me. I don't usually do diva dance spiraling in. I usually do diva dance going out. So it's um, it's a little bit of a change for me. Often turning my tile so that I'm pulling my pen towards me. You don't have to do that. I just find it's more comfortable and easier to have control of the pen when I do.
to decide if I want to keep going with diva dance or if I want to do something else. This is this is real life, people. <laughs> this decision, what to do next, it's always a big, big decision. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Experimenting, why not? There's always more paper. Right? Right. All right. All right. Hold me. Hopefully this works. jelly roll. Maybe if I turn this light off it would be easier to see it. Not really. And so now I'm just trying to do some halibut in this space to sort of break it up. Probably could have kept going with Diva Dance. It probably would have looked just fine. But... Life is more fun when you can play with jelly roll pens. so much to my family and every year I show R2 all of the submissions that everyone makes. It's so cute. He keeps asking me, Mom, am I famous? <laughs> He's famous to me.
filling in the negative space here with some little orbs. Just to sort of help bring those purple bands to the front. I think I might go in with maybe a purple pencil crayon and color those in. having these little orbs in here will also help bring the logo to the front too. my logo and I have my purple bands that doesn't really show up purple on this camera but they're purple this is the pen I used um, I think I'm just going to test out a few colors That one's pretty close. I'm, I'm 
one's not bad. I think we'll use these two. my favorite part. I know I say this every week, but really it is. It's my favorite part. What shall I use today? Two shade. Two shade. Two shade. got a Zentangle pencil and my Tortillon. Should really make that nib more sticky outy. If I just have this like tapestry needle, sometimes this works. You just put it in there and push. Or if you don't have a tapestry needle, um, a paper clip sometimes works. I mean, you can only do it so many times before your tortillon is just basically done, but sometimes you can get a little bit more life out of them if you've really squished down the tip like I tend to do. <laughs> I can't get the needle back out now. All right, the needle's staying in for now. So I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to some of these little spots in Diva Dance. The shading part is also the part where I get really talkative, kind of chatty. I tend to zone out and bliss out when I'm tangling, which is, you know, kind of the point. This part doesn't, you know, need so much. Um, focused, intentional drawing. As the tangling part does. This part is more like play for me because I'm just, you know, just laying down graphite. So, Diva Dance is one of those tangles that kind of needs that little bit of shadow to make it shine. <laughs> Tapestry needle in there. It's so funny. Wonder I'm gonna be able to fish that thing out later. Adding in these dark shadows and leaving these light shines really gives it a like a depth that you don't get if you are um, a non-shader. Not that there's anything wrong with not shading your tiles, it's just shading gives you that extra something. <laughs> it kicks it up a notch and makes it look that much more alive. That being said, I've seen many, many tiles that don't have shading that look amazing. So it's all about your preference. That being said, I teach the shading section in all of my classes. Because I like it. Look how much that just, just came alive, you know?
to I think I am gonna end up outlining this logo I was gonna try if I could see if I could make it pop out but I think it's gonna need to be outlined I'm gonna use a graphic one here is where it really becomes a Mobius strip so if you're drawing it by hand be sure that you are aware of this one little flip in this ribbon where it flips like this as opposed to turning under it sort of flips over yeah. and I am going to Come in here with some shading, because that's how I do. This week's challenge I uh, would really really love it if you um, tagged me in any of your pictures that you post online so if you're on Instagram please tag me at I'm the diva um, with the hashtag uh, MSAD 2018 which is Moby syndrome awareness day 2018 and if you feel like supporting our family one step further please wear purple on Wednesday January 24th and if anyone asks, tell you, tell them that the kid with you know, R2, is <laughs> really cool because he's a really cool kid. Anyway, thanks for sharing this time with me again. And if you made it all the way through the video, thanks so much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel. And please make sure that you mark the notification little bell up in the corner to make sure that you're notified when I'm posting new videos. Um, thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye.